Hey guys, welcome back. Today in the Untidy Artist, I'm making the September Flower Fairy of the Month. This is a series that I started in December uh, where I have done a different fairy for each month of the year. This is the September Flower Fairy. She's inspired by all of the beautiful fall colors. We have tons of leaves changing around my house and it's just so beautiful. And that was really the inspiration for this doll. If you are new to making fairies, welcome. You'll wanna check out my basic fairy doll tutorial. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you are one of my awesome subscribers, Welcome back. I'm excited to show you how I made this gorgeous fairy. So let's grab some supplies and get started. Okay, now the first thing you're going to need is a flower. And I really just loved all of the variation in colors in this flower. I thought it was the perfect fall flower and thought it would just be great for the September fairy. So I love the orange on the tips of the leaves or the petals, and I just thought it would make a beautiful, full, fluffy skirt that repeated all of those fall colors. I will put links for everything below in the description of the video. I've got some embroidery floss for her clothing and her gloves and shoes. I have some little embellishments I'm actually going to put in her hair. Um, the top little green ones are actually from a garland that I took apart. Um, I used it in my last fairy. So if you didn't see the ranunculus fairy, you'll wanna check that out. I have this little pack of leaves that I got at the dollar store. I think they're for like a table scatter or decoration and I thought they'd be fun to use. I've got two types of glitter, kind of a coppery color and then a gold that we'll be using to embellish our fairy doll. And then I have some Mod Podge with a paintbrush, a sharp pair of scissors, and of course my trusty glue gun set on low. It's so much easier to work with the glue if it isn't super, super hot. Last but not least, we'll need a fairy doll. So I made this fairy by taking a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire, and some embroidery floss for the skin and the hair and twisted it into this beautiful little doll. The basic fairy doll tutorial will be below in the description. I also just came out with a skin tone tutorial on how to do different skin tones for your fairy dolls. And I am using skin tone two, I believe in this tutorial. So I'll put all of the information and the link for that video below. And then you can see I've already styled her hair. You can style your doll's hair however you'd like. I have a really cute high pigtail tutorial I just came out with. I decided to give her a high ponytail. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is grab the thread for the clothing. And in this case, I'm using this deep burnt orange. And I'm going to wrap up and kind of give her some puffed sleeves. And you can achieve that by just wrapping the thread thicker right around her arms at the top there. And then I gave her a little pair of shorts. And then I'm going to set her aside and grab my flower and I'm going to pull my flower apart. And I just loved how big and fluffy these petals were. I think they're so pretty. And so once I've got those pulled apart, I'm going to start layering them together in different ways until I have what, until I like the way that it looks. So when you hold it up to your fairy doll, you can kind of see if you like how it looks. And I wanted the top layers to be longer. Then I'm going to grab my scissors and cut an X into the center of each flower. And this will allow us to slide the petals up and around our doll's waist. So once I have those all cut, I'm going to take them and starting with the top layers of the skirt, I'm going to push them up and around her waist. And I do arrange them as I go so that they're not all sitting right on top of each other. You want them to overlap nicely um, and kind of stagger a little bit so you have a really full, pretty skirt. So I put all of the petals on and then I'm gonna grab my glue gun and I'm going to start adding tiny dabs of glue between the layers to hold the skirt together. Once again, arranging it as I go, I stop, I look at my doll, make sure that the skirt's laying really pretty. And this is what we have so far. Now it's time to give her some gloves and some shoes. So I'm using this really pretty green color and I'm just going to wrap um, some gloves and then kind of some boots for her. I have a tutorial on, that goes into a lot more detail about how to wrap gloves and shoes. That link will be below. The reason I wait to do the gloves and shoes until after I have her skirt on is sometimes if the shoes are too wrapped too thick, you have a hard time getting that skirt up and around her waist. So I always do it after I do her skirt. Then I'm going to grab these leaves and I just decided to tuck a few up underneath some of the petals on the side. And then I wanted a couple of the gold ones sitting on top of her skirt. And I, I really like how these blended into her skirt. 
and just worked with the colors of the flower really nicely. So I'm just taking a few, tucking them under some of the layers to just get some little pops of color and variation and to just give her more of a fall feel. So this is what we have so far. You can see I've got a few of the leaves just tucked up on the left side. And now I'm going to grab my bronze glitter and I used, I poured some of my Mod Podge in a lid. I'm gonna pour some of my bronze glitter into a lid, grab my brush, and then I'm just going to paint right up around her waist. I just wanted a little pop of sparkle up there and I wanted it to, I didn't wanna use the gold on this part because I didn't want it to be quite so bright. I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle. So the bronze worked really well for this part. And then I sprinkle on the glitter, tap it off, and you can see how that blends in really nicely with the top of her dress and just right around the waist there. Then I'm going to take my gold glitter and I'm just going to dip the tips of the leaves in the glue and then dip it in the glitter. And this just gives me a little tiny bit of sparkle right at the edges of the leaves. And it really made that part of her dress stand out. It's all of these finishing details that really make your fairy unique. So just adding a little bit of that gold glitter on the tips of the leaves and this is what we've got. And then I'm going to take the green thread and I'm just going to wrap some of that around her ponytail so we have a little pop of color at the top there. And then I'm going to grab all of my random little pieces of foliage and greenery and I'm just going to cut off just a little bit of each type of these. So I, a little piece of the green, I did a little tiny piece of the red and then I'm using a little tiny piece of the orange that has the berry looking and tiny leaves on it just to create a hair piece at the top of her hair. I did add a tiny bit of gold at the top there onto those little berries and that's it guys, we're all set. We have a beautiful fall September Fairy of the Month. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you're one of my subscribers and you'd like to share with me your fairy dolls, you can do that on Instagram with the hashtag untidyartistfairydoll. I love seeing your creations. You're all so incredibly creative. And um, I look forward to the October Fairy of the Month. I've got some fun plans for that and a lot of fun things coming out for the holidays. So be sure to stick around. And as always, I appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.